as an immigrant. My identity process in the United States, there's the urge for me to finish becoming someone. But in that process, I realized that I don't have to have this fixed identity. I am constantly evolving. Through my art, I'm celebrating the idea about validity and of biculturalism. I'm a visual artist based in the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm a native of Japan and I came to United States when I was 18 years old. I thought I was ready to do anything I wanted, <laughs> but I had a really difficult time. I think the language was a really an important aspect of it. I couldn't communicate myself, so I couldn't make friends. I felt really sad and alone. I think I was traumatized. My first art class in the United States was very important because I felt like I was accepted by the community. We have a common language, which is the visual language. So the art making was really a true communication tool. I'm always fascinated by animal evolutions and metamorphoses, how they have changed and shift in order to survive. That's something that I always connected with in terms of the experiences that I was going through. My Shapeshifter series is exploring similar themes of cultural survival and adaptation. But I was very interested in abstract form and shape. They are different characters and colors. They are boundless. They can travel different realms. Shapeshifters are based on Japanese Shinto traditions, and the Shinto tradition believe animism. Everything in this universe has imbued with the spirit. Sometimes they disguise with human, animals, objects. They're always more than one singular entity. They are such a part of our culture. We see them everywhere. When I went to a residency program in Kamiyama in Japan, I was able to actually visit small shrines, climb the mountains. There's so much stories and histories embedded, and then it gives me the idea about how I can recraft the stories based on this traditional folklore, and how I could actually reinvent my own identity, just like these shapeshifters do. Yeah. Yeah. These traditional cultures and practice, I think this is something that we can all universally share. Each one of them has different characters and I have a... When you have less boundaries, it's easier to connect. So the fluidity of the shapeshifters, to me, it's always this signifier or the reminder that we can shift, we can change. Keep yourself open and evolve.